Tamunang of Tumber Sagati Matamin, non Ritata Sagati, would not live in the under twin. Tarasan Dingitaki Tarabandi taking the relay Valatik and Sotasot and Yoshini under twenty and no Gold Coast, no Lusa Westeria. Nangana Tawa Turang and Nova Turanjama in Gavin Vinitaki. The uh, coach of the under-20 rugby team, Kelly, uh, the team coordinator, Turan Kautani, and uh, I mean other role, members of the team, uh, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, Nisambul Vinaka, and a very good morning to you all. At the outset, I wish to acknowledge and thank Reverend Raki Tengreo for sharing with us a few words of spiritual direction and uh, prayer as we gather to farewell our team to the 2019 Oceania Rugby Under 20s Junior World Championship, which will be held on the Gold Coast, Australia, during the period 23rd of April to the 5th of May, very soon. It's always an honor and pleasure for my wife, Sarah and I, to welcome all of Fiji's national sporting teams to the State House. <coughs> Excuse me, when you come to present your traditional Fijian Ita Ukei Tatau, before you depart our shores with the hope of stamping once again our beloved nation's name into the annals of sports history as world champions. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as your president, head of state, I welcome you again this morning to the newly renovated conservatory in Watun Law of the State House with great plans and great keen appreciation. Um, I think the last time you came up here, say Chunda to Watun Law Makawa, and I thank God, you know, we've gotten rid of that, you know, because um, every time in the past when uh, teams, uh, we have functions, you know, I was always worried, like, they come back to Buturara, and they come back to Right now, we have a firm foundation. We thank government for uh, providing us with um, the much needed funds to renovate the state house. This is already part of it. Um, so welcome. Uh, you are the third team to visit and present you to town in this refurbished, renovated conservatory over the last couple of weeks. Now, we're following very closely in the footsteps of the members of our national team for Touch Rugby to the 2019 Touch Rugby World Cup, which will be held in Putrajaya in Malaya um, within the next couple of weeks too. They were here yesterday just before you. So this morning again, you know, we have uh, another uh, team to represent our country in rugby. And thank you for um, coming. Now, not long uh, before that, uh, prior to their visit yesterday, we had the team of the special athletes. Now, we call them people with determination, now who performed exceptionally well and created history during the recent Special Olympic Games held in Abu Dhabi last month. Now, this team of special athletes created history and made us all proud to be Fijians, as did our gallant, victorious, and globe-trotting National Sevens rugby team when they created history by winning the much coveted Hong Kong Sevens Championship trophy five times in a row within the last two weeks. Now, and as you've heard from uh, Sally, despite losing the finals of the Singapore International Rugby um, Board Sevens Tournament in South Africa two nights ago, we should all acknowledge with appreciation and great pride and continue to commend and congratulate our Sevens Warriors for the most excellent display of determination, good sportsmanship in upholding the now world-renowned Fijian Bula spirit, the winning spirit, that Fiji is the Olympic champion and trendsetter when it comes to the seventh code of rugby. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, I'd like to once again, on behalf of government of Fijians, congratulate our under-20 team, which performed exceptionally well too during the World Rugby Under-20 tournament in Romania last year. Again, we created history by becoming trophy winners and the team to beat. I have no doubt that you'll repeat it again in the next couple of weeks. 
Therefore, judging from last year's performance, I'm confident that you will undoubtedly perform equally well again. So as you present your traditional tatao and prepare to depart our shores, be assured that our prayers and good wishes go with you, as you've heard from the good reverend. To each and every one of you, our 28 players, and our six officials, I would like to, on behalf of our rugby passionate and loving nation, commend and congratulate you on being selected into our national under-20s team this year. Well done. I know and understand that being selected to represent our country in any international sporting competition has always been very challenging indeed because you would be expected to perform to the best of your abilities as expected of you by your coaches, your colleagues, your families and friends, and a rugby and mad Fijian community here at home and a wider global diaspora. The Blue Wigs follow our seventh team around. So I hope that uh, our friends and our supporters will be down there at the Gold Coast to support you on. To the hardworking team officials, coaching staff, management administrators, <clears throat> who had persevered to ensure that all details pertaining to the team's welfare and performance are adequately addressed. We thank you and I'd like to say Navalio. Now the Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, I also consider it prudent that I acknowledge and commend the hard work and support of your respective families. Very important. Friends and last but not least, the invaluable support of our sponsors or your sponsors. To all of you, I'd like to say Navalevu, Danibad, and thank you. Now please allow me at this stage to give you some fatherly advice this is the same advice that I gave the teams yesterday. To you, the players, I would like to remind you to remain focused, listen to your coaches, play as a team, and look after one another. Be good ambassadors on and off the field and always display good sportsmanship by accepting victory with humility and defeat graciously. Now, in conclusion, I would like to remind you of my other responsibility as our beloved nation's chief advocate and champion in our fight to control or combat what is now considered as a present, a real, and clear threat of the prevalence of non-communicable diseases or related ailments like hypertension and diabetes within our communities. <laughs> as young athletes, but this is a plea to the whole nation. And please remain fit and well by maintaining a healthy lifestyle, by eating well and exercising daily. You are fitter than the average person, no doubt. And for to date, for your information, government has spent more than $400 million every year to treat NCD-related ailments like high blood pressure and diabetes. These are much needed funds around Ivangule to help education and sports to have you properly trained, provide you with better facilities and equipment and better coaches, um, experience um, coaches, locally or international coaches, funds which um, have been used to treat the sick. Because in years to come, you will be our future leaders, so please look after your health. I therefore accept you to tell on behalf of government and all Fijians with appreciation and gratitude and wish you well and every success as you leave our shores within the next couple of days. And may Almighty God continue to bless you as you leave to represent Fiji in the forthcoming Ocean Year Rugby under 20 Junior World Championships in the Gold Coast. Thank you, Vinamar Levu. May God bless you all.